Welcome to another episode of Gallery Garage. Today, we are working on the headache rack. I cut it off last week. It did not fit the shape of the truck. It was made for the Chevy 3500 that this bed was originally on. So I got some new aluminum material and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna fab this one up today. It's a very simple design, nothing crazy. I'm gonna make it match somewhere around this line here. I'm gonna put some diamond plate in there. Nice channel. It's gonna look really good. And I'm gonna see how my aluminum TIG welding is doing. I think it's getting better. So that's how it's gonna get welded on. I hope it's strong enough. <laughs> but uh, that's what we're working on today. I appreciate you guys. Uh, everybody has been giving me some good feedback and I'm getting more views, more followers. So tell your friends and make sure you subscribe. This was the old headache rack and you can obviously see it was angled to kind of follow the shape of the cab of the old 86 Chevy. So now it really wasn't reusable because I didn't have enough material from this to be able to reuse it. So I'm basically building the same thing, but only at this height, but I'm making it square to match the shape of the truck. So it's gonna come out really nice. And I don't know if I showed you guys this yet, but I got all the brackets done on the tool for the toolboxes and the toolboxes are mounted, the hitch is mounted on the rear, mud flaps, everything. I'm like two days away from start tearing this thing apart to start painting everything. Look at the toolboxes. Ooh, that looks good. I made these simple toolbox brackets and I wasn't going to make a whole video on that. It's a uh, two pieces of angle and flat bar and uh, just a couple holes drilled and I actually utilized some old holes from the frame support bracket. That's where the frame got welded together and then I added that bracket in for extra support and as a safety. The weld will never break, but it's there just in case. It's on each side. And then since that was on a 3.8, there's a 3.8 spacer in there. Wow, my voice just cracked. <sighs> uh, there's a 3.8 spacer in there. Keep it all level. And the boxes are the same width as the body so maybe eventually in the future i'll extend this out but i actually kind of like the way it looks you know, it doesn't it doesn't look too bad it still runs the line of the width of the truck once the headache rack is on you got to see how it looks it might look complete this side has the fuel tank as you've guys seen and this is the, the toolbox where the hydraulic pump is going to be in and chains and stuff like that so we'll see so this is the new material I'll be using. This is aluminum, two by five channel, uh, non-structural, so it doesn't it's not uh, doesn't have like the radius in here. And I gotta make the headache rack frame with this. I'm gonna fill in the front with this. This is quarter inch by four inch aluminum flat bar, and then this is what I'm gonna fill it in with is this diamond plate. Got some left over from another project. And you'll see the quarter inch is going to fill in this part here and kind of support these trays and tie the whole front together. And then the headache rack is going to get welded here, go up and over and everything. So it's going to look good. I got to clean all this aluminum up so that way it welds nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so this is one thing I wanted to show you guys. I don't know if it's visible on camera, but this was the end of the length of channel and you can see it's like a sixteenth on this side and almost an eighth maybe three close to three sixteenths on this side so I always check the fresh cut length end because it was off so made it nice and square and then I go from there so these are some of the pieces of the headache rack that I got cut out already I'm gonna show you how I clean some of these up you want to get all the the crusty stuff off the edges and then you actually any spot that you're going to weld together you want to give a nice bevel so that way when you fill it in with the filler wire it's not just going over the top of the two pieces it's filling in and it's going to become flush uh we'll see how it goes you know i've only been doing this for a little while <laughs> i'm actually better at steel welding um i'm new to the aluminum stuff i'm getting better with my tig welding so here's a little time last of me grinding
I got everything beveled out. This is what I mean by a bevel. So see the little bit of a gap in there? You just fill that in with weld and it makes it a lot stronger instead of just putting a weld over the two flat surfaces and down this whole edge too. So that's good. I got it clamped down. You don't need a full table for this. You know, you make it work with what you got. And I'll tack it. I'll get it all tacked together. I'll fit it, make sure it fits. And then uh, I'll show you how I weld it onto the truck. All right, well, this took a little bit longer than I thought. When I was going to weld in the front flat bar up here, I found a couple cracks in the bed, so I had to repair those. But this is what we got so far. To put the diamond plate on this side so it kind of matches there. It is a little shinier, but you know, it is what it is. But I got the gussets in, it's nice tacked together. I fixed those welds there, fix that one there. And I blended this side in nice. So this piece of flat bar I just welded in now. And it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna take this off, weld everything up. I'm doing two inch stitches all the way through. I'll do that on the bottom too. And uh, we'll have a nice headache rack. All right, I got everything all together. The whole top piece is all welded together. Got the gusset welded to the top. The diamond plate's all welded in. This little bit of a weld right here, I'll take weld it. And then the headache rack is done. That's really not bad for only welding for a little bit. That's that's the one spot. If you accidentally dip, dip the tip, it makes like this little black powder and then you, sometimes you gotta clean the tip off. But, and the tip, I mean tungsten. There's inside the stinger here, there's a, there's tungsten. I don't know if you can see it in there. That's what I mean as the tip. And the tungsten, you just grind it down. And welding aluminum, you want the tip to actually be a little bit dull. You don't want a nice pointy tip. You want a pointy tip if you're welding steel and stainless steel. But I did all this myself. It looks pretty good. You did nice, I did nice uh, two inch stitch welds all the way down on each side. It looks pretty good. I like that I put the diamond plate on this side instead of the other side. Kind of makes it all come together. Well, yesterday I got the headache rack finished. And that was the last piece of major fabrication for now on the back of the truck. So now, today, I'm stripping everything off and getting everything ready to paint. I gotta get the bed off. I got the toolboxes out already. I gotta get the fuel tank out. I'm gonna take one wheel off, hitch everything. It's just gonna be a bare frame. I'm gonna paint it up all nice and pretty. I'm gonna use some of that Pour 15 stuff and uh, give it a nice base coat put a lot of it together and then do a nice top coat over everything and then basically it'll never rust again hopefully and then it's put it all back together so today is going to be a fun day of tearing everything that i just built apart to make it look pretty all right you guys are going to see the carnage of what happened today there's not much left on the truck it's almost completely stripped down i got the cab raised uh, I was going a little crazy. I wasn't, I didn't want to do this tonight, but I started ripping apart the wiring harness and ripping out a bunch of unused wires. I don't know if you can see that. And then I got a big pile of parts and stuff that need to be painted over here. This is all paintable stuff. You can't really see it, it's a little dark. All right, the frame's almost stripped down to nothing. I just gotta remove the three crossbars. I got the axle out. It's actually pretty easy. The bolts came right out, surprisingly, because, uh, you know, this part was on a New York truck and it was very rusty. They are out of the truck. Just a bare frame. Look at that. Well, as you can see, I got a big pile of parts. All this has to get powdered, coated, and painted. I got the frame all stripped down. That's got to get stripped down and painted. Got the wheels off, only the outside wheels are gonna get powder coated for now, just because I'm on a budget, I don't have to do all of them right now. 
the super single front wheels are getting powder coated right now. So once those come back, I'll get the new tires on and those will look sweet. So this is where we're at now. I think I'm gonna end this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, tell all your friends about this channel. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you at the next one. Boom, I got a gooseneck. Boom, check that out. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool.